Morning folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earth Watch, Tuesday, October 28, 2025. Let's check on the status of Hurricane Melissa. Currently just offshore Jamaica. Western Jamaica. Barometric pressure is uh, an extremely low, 896 hectopascals. Very low. Forecast models continue to change, so currently expecting Category 5 to be crossing over and as it uh, heads into Cuba. So depending on uh, which site you're looking at. So the current track, this is uh, Zoom Earth. Wind speeds are going to top out currently at 290 kilometers an hour, which is 180 miles per hour. Even though it's impossible to uh, do the tracking this far out, but it's also going to be crossing over uh, Bermuda in the future, Thursday. Barometric pressures are going to be a remaining low, currently 896. The reason why we need to be focused on the barometric pressure is this results in increased saturation of the secondary cosmic rays we call muons. So aside from the interaction with any silica-rich magma, which may be below, causing bubble nucleation, the uh, high energy cosmic rays, muons, penetrate the crust and generate what's called a nuclear electromagnetic cascade, which can cause micro cracks in the Earth's crust, which uh, can trigger earthquakes in that region. So, uh, when interaction with uh, certain types of atoms, atoms of certain rock can destroy their uh, structure. Now I mentioned that we have a coming uh, solar storm from the uh, coronal hole opening. So that's a long duration event, uh, the solar storm coming up. It can last several days. So right now, So right now, the direct line perpendicular bow shock of the solar winds is going to be uh, cutting through uh, lower Peru, South America region. Okay, but let's uh, consider this diameter of region. So we're not necessarily going to need a solar wind impact to bring in uh, the increased cosmic rays because we have enough because of the uh, low pressure now when it comes to predicting the location of the possible seismic response that's kind of a tough one so you have to take into account uh, fracture zones in the area, trenches such as the Cayman Trench, and history of earthquakes. So if you want to go through, I'll uh, just quickly look at the history of recent earthquakes. Uh, throughout the Caribbean, uh, Haiti more than any other region, but as well as Jamaica and Cuba. So in 2021, there was the earthquake, which is the fulcrum point between South Sandwich Islands and the Alaska earthquakes, uh, 2,248 deaths. However, the Earth also 2010, 100,000 to 316,000 fatalities from a magnitude 7 Haiti.
Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, 2020, 7.7. .7. And again, the history of seismic activity in the area, which also includes a deep earthquake events, right in this general region right here. Now, a deep earthquake here suggests in uh, the presence of a mantle plume. And once again, Cayman Trench. Haiti. even in the middle of the Caribbean plate. Now a seismic or volcanic response can happen during such a low pressure system. The example is the Mount Punatubo eruption in the Philippines in 1991 was right in the middle of a cyclone passing over. Or it could be up to a week following this system crossing over. Some of the points of our repeated seismic activity. Lower end Caribbean Sea, this region right here. Off the coast of Nicaragua, right here. If there is an upwelling pressure below, where the plate is the thinnest, right here, even right here. So unfortunately, what you have to consider is an earthquake happening during the recovery efforts. assuming maximum possible damage throughout the entire region of Jamaica, requiring rescue efforts, medical aid, water, food, shelter, power. Then you have an earthquake. Uh, very quickly before we leave. Check our wind gusts. 209, 217. Uh, wind waves, let's take a look. Seven point eight meters, and then just uh, on shore, two point three, five point four. You see, this is current time, so uh, six point nine meters. Hey folks, that's it for now. Like I said, consider the possibility of a uh, substantial uh, seismic response anywhere in this area during the aftermath or even during the crossing of Melissa, unfortunately. That is all.